instead of working palm to palm as we often do, what I'd like you to do is hold one hand or both hands ahead of your chest, maybe three inches to six inches at most, eight to 15 centimeters at most, over or above your chest. Holding your hands still, without moving your hands at all, in other words, what I'd like you to do is sort of direct the energy into your chest. Notice what you feel. Notice what you observe. In essence, you're attempting to send it. Hold your hands where they are. Attempt to send the energy without moving them. And now, move them. Push the energy in a little. Push it. You're trying even more. You're sending it, now you're trying to push it. And do whatever you can to your mind, your mind to add to it. Bring your hands a little closer. Try to intensify the energy. Try really hard. Try even harder. Just try. 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 And now, freeze. Hold that position. Hold it perfectly still. That was part one. And what I'd like you to do is just tune in now to the connection between your palms and your chest. The connection between whatever is interacting, happening, occurring in the field, which may be more intensified if you're tuning it into your palms and your chest and what's inside of your chest. And visualize that space now between your hands and between your body. Visualize it filled with the presence of something or someone. We'll talk about this more in a moment. Of anything or anyone. But I'd like that something or someone, that anything or anyone, to be something or someone that symbolizes to you abundance. Abundance of anything. Abundance of any characteristic. Sure, it can be financial abundance, and yet how about abundance of the, some of the terms we've reviewed before? Love, of health, of happiness, of confidence, of clarity, of certainty. Who and what symbolizes that for you? And maintain that connection with that person or with that concept in between your hands and your body. And let's just contemplate that for about 15, 20 seconds. Now, we're holding this thought and maintaining that connection, what I'd like you to do is slowly, 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 just maybe a centimeter at a time, start to pull and stretch your palms away from your chest, away from your back. The sensation in your hands may begin at a minimal level. You may start to allow it or notice it intensify, expand. As the sensation expands, can we allow our awareness of these qualities, these characteristics, these traits to expand? Can we sense the presence of that person if we've chosen to elect a person who personifies these characters and qualities to expand with us, if you envision that person who represents abundance to you in this space, do they become smaller, weaker, do they wither, or do they grow larger, do they expand, do they become more presence, 
you know, the characteristics, the qualities and traits that we think of, can we recognize that they truly represent the being? The person that you may have chosen to personify those traits, although we've assigned it to someone else who may well manifest this in their lives, can you recognize that that person represents you just like whenever we have a dream or every character in the dream? Let's open up. Let's open up. Let's step into this awareness of our own expansion. Observe the frequencies, the energy, the light and information, wherever we move our hands. Take it from your body, as Jillian's doing already. Move around. Can you experience the energy, the light, the information? Can we recognize it as the language of this reconnected feeling intelligence? Can we recognize it as a true romance language? Does it contract? Does it expand? Does it reach less? Does it reach more? Does it disappear? No, it speaks more clearly. This is you allowing yourself to access your awareness of your own abundance. Your awareness of the love that you are. Your awareness of your essence. Hence, your awareness of you, our awareness. Yes. By the way, if you want to play with this, it's not about palms and front of the chest. It's about awareness that can come anywhere. We're used to initially detecting sensation sensorial awareness through our hands. So I started with that. Chest is an easy way to move away from pump to pump. But really by allowing myself to just let my hands allow them to relax and feel, or just play with tiny little movements, wherever I bring my attention, my awareness, into my skull, into my body, into just the field anywhere as I gaze out the window in front of me across the street, Awareness expands because awareness is everywhere simultaneous. Exercise. I liked it. That was awesome.